everyone is so busy these days, but when I get home from work, I still want beautiful, delicious food, and I want it quick. So what I've done is come up with the most incredible Italian feast in well under 30 minutes. So I'm gonna make the most beautiful Italian sandwich. I'm gonna serve that with a great salad of dressed mozzarella, and then a platter of cured meats with a remoulade. And then I make a beautiful dessert of granita, blitzed up ice cubes made into snow with vanilla and lemon zest and mint. And the first job I'm going to do is a beautiful Italian granita. Uh, and it's basically like a frozen ice dessert. So, first things first, get yourself a pre-bought pack of ice and you want to half fill your processor, whatever size it is. And then in that ice, it's going to turn into like a snow, but I want to scent it with some other flavours. So first thing I'm going to do is some mint. I want the zest and juice of one lime and one lemon. This is going to give it a fresh sort of zingy flavour and the lime. And then I'm going to put some vanilla. Um, you can use vanilla extract, all this paste you can get in good supermarkets. And then the magic bit. Just let it process until it turns into snow. And then I want to add about three tablespoons of sugar, just regular caster sugar. Then very quickly, very quickly, we need to get this snow and put it in a big pile on a big platter straight into the freezer. That can go in there. Next up, I'm going to do a lovely remoulade and prosciutto platter. Celeriac is in all the supermarkets. Just remove the end like this. Going to half it carefully first. Just hands out the way. This I'll use another day. Just use your knife and just follow that natural line, almost like a pineapple, and just cut off any sort of dark bits or skin and you're left with this. So I'm going to half that, uh, and I can, you could either box grate that, or I'm going to use my processor. So get your coarse grater attachment. Cut these uh, celeriac. Rattle it through. So that's the celeriac grated. Then just take a small handful of parsley. That can go in next. At the same time, I want about half a chilli. That can go in as well. Get yourself one or two nice pears, um, not super, super ripe. And then you're laughing. Basically, you get these beautiful sort of matchsticks. The parsley's kind of mashed up a bit and most of the chilli's mashed up a bit. we just got to bring that together. Um, we're going good olive oil, uh, good seasoning of salt. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of French mustard, so I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to use whole grain. And whole grain mustard with this salad is just so good. So a nice heaped teaspoon of whole grain mustard goes in there as well. Just a swig of white wine or red wine vinegar. And then all you've got to do is get your hands in there and just give it a good old mix-up. So we've got the remoulade done. So what I'm going to do is pick it up, put it in the middle of a beautiful board. And then I'm going to put it together with this lovely prosciutto. Just let it kind of wave and fall down naturally. Instead of going flat, rip up a few parsley leaves and let them sort of fall naturally from a height, you know, and a little drizzle of olive oil, quality olive oil all over the board. That is our second dish, a beautiful remoulade and prosciutto platter. Look at it. The next thing I'm going to do is a mega sandwich, mega, mega sandwich. I've bought some pretty good focaccia from the supermarket, so I'm just going to put it into some grease proof. I'm going to reheat that for five minutes. The next thing is to make homemade pesto for the mozzarella salad. So. I've got some basil. One nice, generous bunch of basil, roughly this much. So bang that in there. And then secondly, one pack or 100 grams of pine nuts. We go untoasted to get the creaminess and the kind of ooziness instead of the nuttiness, you know, which is quite a strong flavour. You want about 75 grams, 100 grams, uh, roughly, of parmesan going in there as well. And then just waz it up. One clove of garlic. Right. Lovely. Beautiful. Right, about... You, you need just enough olive oil to loosen it. Stop. So what you've got here is a pesto, a paste. Get yourself a nice platter. Get your mozzarella out. If you go to a decent supermarket, they'll have buffalo mozzarella. And then I'm going to take 
a small proportion of this pesto and you just want a nice couple of teaspoons on there, some good olive oil over there, and I'm going to dress the mozzarella in the pesto and just put them sort of proudly in the middle. I'm going to get some lemons. From a height, I'm going to just put that zest, just a few little slashes, and then basil. I'm using Greek basil here, which you can get from the supermarkets. If you look at it, it's just skinnier and smaller and slightly prettier, and it's delicate and it's perfect for this kind of thing. And just sprinkle that from a height. And this is really just for sort of a freshness and looks as well. Dried chilli for some reason. Just a few flakes, I promise, will make all the difference. All you've got to do now is just finish it off with a little olive oil. Just a few, literally, few little drips completes the story. It's just beautiful. Look at that. Utterly a celebration of summer. Really, really good. Right, now for the mega Italian sandwich. Focaccia is nearly done, perfect, hot in the oven. Let's do the filling. It's like a kind of pickle, OK? Let's have a look in here. We've got peppers, let's have some olives, sun-dried tomatoes, Mr Caper, let's have some greenies, little cornichon. So the old pickle drawer's getting raided. I've got some red and yellow tomatoes there. So about four nice, you know, like a handful of grilled peppers, basically. Olives. Just a small handful of olives. I've got some black and greens here. Capers, you know, and think of it less as an ingredient and more as a flavouring, OK? So just a teaspoon of those goes in. Six or so sun-dried tomatoes, and you get that intensity. And then cornichon, or gherkins, or in Essex, wallies, as we call them. Um, just like a little pile, little pile. So depending on their size, I'll have three or so of these. Uh, a little bit of mint, in actual fact, I'm standing here next to the chilli. I wasn't going to do chilli, but I am now. Um, just a tiny bit of chilli. So we've got the fresh mint in there. A little bit of chilli first, just some slices. With the uh, mint, just chop that up roughly, and then just clank it all. There's no right or wrong, just clank it all up. Fresh tomatoes. And you'd be mad not to buy those beautiful, different coloured little cherries. So just once you've kind of clanked through all of that, put that into the bowl. Little lemon juice. I just want that lemon juice to bring together the family. Do you know what I mean? Just that acidity, that freshness. OK, here is our pre-got focaccia. What I want to do is cut this baby in half. The safest way to do that, to make this mega sandwich, is find your halfway point like this and just score, just lightly, all the way around, like that. And then once you've scored, just use the length of the knife just to kind of effortlessly go through it. Quickly and confidently, take it off. While it's hot, let it suck up beautiful flavour, which is going to be in here. This lovely little salsa here is going to be so good. And the juice that comes out of it. It's hot, it's fluffy on the inside, crispy on the outside. I just want to put a little bit of Parmesan on there. Cos, again, like, the whole point of 30-minute meals is you're plating with attitude. It's looking bold and exciting. And then I'm going to go back to my basil plant. So just kind of put, you know, a nice load of basil on the top like that. And then over here, just kiss that with a little olive oil. You can either put a knife underneath it, but whatever you do, you want to go quickly and confidently straight over to here, one, two, three, and there you go. I like getting just a nice big knife, stabbing it in like that. That is a proper sandwich. And I've got just enough time to finish my granita. This granita plate is really cold. It's going to hold that freeze as well, so it's going to look after all of this. What I love to do is just serve this with a load of spoons in one side. So I've got a lovely pink grapefruit here. Just cut that into, uh, into wedges, I think. You know, get yourself some halves of lemon there. I've got my lime here. All of this gets squeezed over the granita at the last minute, mixed up, and we just stir it all up. You get the sweet, the mint, the vanilla, all those sort of acids that is just like a beautiful slushy. Serve that with some yoghurt and some raspberries. It looks different. Yogurt, raspberries, beautiful granita, all those citrus flavours. So there you go, guys, look at that. We've got the beautiful mega sandwich with the cured meats, the remoulade, that beautiful mozzarella salad and this killer little dessert here. All of that in well under half an hour. Brilliant.